Hello, welcome back. Time to do some more exploring. Jelly Baby, good name. I wonder if it describes the place or the people. A place where false dreams come true, or at least can be put on celluloid. Tall and pointy, what possible use can they be? I sure hope it's not one of those mirage things. Obviously, where the undesirables hang out. Okay, let's explore Jelly Belly for now. Lo, behold the majesty of this tall stone pointy thing. Who knows its mystic secrets? Who cares? Not me, for one. Lo, behold. Who That leads to the used camel sales yard. <laughs> Lovely. It's a mammal. I'm afraid further definition is currently a point of argument. Well, whatever it is, it seems to be composed mostly of knees. The shuddersome thought, of course, is that these creatures actually breed, meaning that something actually finds them attractive. <coughs> if I must have one of these, then perhaps I should talk to the salesman. I know one or two people who probably would find this attractive, to be honest. <coughs> if I must have one of these, then perhaps I should talk to the... OK. An office? Yeah, well, I'm sure it must be of use to someone. A very suspect salesman. Here, if you want to go hoisting this thing up, then you come in here and try it yourself. <laughs> gerbils always want prime racing gerbils rented to you at lowest cost. Gerbils? Those look like camels. No, 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 Offendi. These are gerbils, desert dwelling rodents. Very fine, very cheap. Look, I'm telling you that these are not gerbils. Do these gerbils of yours eat cheese? Run about in little wheels? Make nests out of old tissues and cotton wool? No, Offendi. So what makes you think that these creatures are gerbils? They barrel. Really? All of them? Yes. Well, no. Nah, uh, not all of them. Well, none. Really. Right. Well, I might be interested in renting one of the non-burrowing ones, then. Indeed, indeed. Please, feel free to browse. Camels, eh? Where, 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 where? They're almost as bad as Cough and Henry. It's the heat, you know. It does things to a man's, uh... And to a man's... Being so, how much to rent one for a brief journey? Five dinar offendi. Hmm. And to buy? Five dinar offendi. Why are they the same to rent as to buy? I cannot stand the noise they make as they sit in their wood shavings eating cheese. Now look, I thought we had that settled. Oh, all right. Five dinar then. But only if you invest some of it in professional psychiatric treatment. <laughs> Groovy. I believe that means we can now explore the desert. Oh, yes, very nice. Yes, yes. Nah, I don't like it. Oh, no, it's awful. You know what that needs? It needs a good gelding. Quite right. Whip him off and we'll soon see a difference. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. yes, yes. Time was they'd only let real men in here. They'll let any old rubbish in these days. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. yes. Mystic temptresses of the East. Not quite as I imagined them, actually. So why do they get such good press? I suppose they must have a good publicity machine. 
Another shop. Local business must be booming. That leads into the Pyramid Architect's shop. Oh, goody. This is the schematics on how to make your own personal pyramid. Oh. Plans on how to make a model pyramid. Useful stuff if you ever need to start a business sharpening razor blades. I'm actually starting to remember a lot more about this game as it goes on. I completely forgot about the architect. A scale model pyramid? Well, I suppose you could always use it for keeping razor blades sharp. For one thing, you could probably grind the razor blades to a nice edge up against the sides of the wretched thing. I don't think I'd better take it. Actually, since all pyramids are the same, I wonder how often he ever really needs to use his design equipment. No, I'd rather just keep returning to the drawing board. A chart of a pyramid. Gad, now there's a pointed clue. I wonder if these things really do change the speed of passing time. Nope, it's glued down. A pyramid architect. Hmm, obviously involved in one of those pyramid sales schemes. Is there much call for your line of work here, then? No, not really. It's all pyramids these days. And there's not much work you need to actually design them. Hmm, they look pretty complex, though. I mean, you have to get the points sharp. Well, yes. But the mathematics was worked out a millennia ago. My only real task these days is trying to fit the client's budget into the calculations. Still, I've had a few ideas. A pyramid ets, multi-user pyramid arcology complexes, etc, etc, etc. I don't know, it seems needlessly cruel to make fun of someone whose entire life consists of playing with gigantic blocks. Why are pyramids so popular? Well, it's all just a matter of time. Time? Yes. Well, a lack of time. You see, a pyramids alter the flow of time slow it up, or sometimes accelerate it. So, what the people want is for me to make a pyramid where time slows almost to a stop at the middle. Then when they feel themselves begin to croak, they can bung themselves in there, and hopefully, in a millennia or two, someone will have figured out a cure for what ails them. And does anyone ever figure out a cure for what ails them? No, of course not. They're all too busy building pyramids. <sighs> I have a terrific design here for a reverse pyramid. One for accelerating time. It's great. I can age wine in a second. But do you think I can get the funds or equipment to build it? <sighs> no. It's always design a maze to protect the king of kings this, or raise a monument to the king of kings that. Call that a profession? Cause I don't. Hmm, just think I know where to come if ever I want to change the flow of time. I wish I could skip past this next few hours of gameplay and see how the end credits turned out. Goodbye for now. That leads back to Jelly Baby. Plans and more plans. Probably pyramid designs that didn't work. No thanks, I've already got my own plans and they don't involve hanging out with you forever. Charming. I believe there's a scene coming up that is, um... I would like to use the word parody. De blah? Oh, no. Why is it that the eerie things in life have such powers of replication and endurance? Popping hummus, genuine popping hummus. Take it home and do it yourself. I let it go at half price, even though I'm cutting my own hand off, 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 off. Or relics, relics of Fendi. Brand new relics, only half a dinner. New relics? How can you have new relics? Through the magic of pyramid power of Fendi, through the effects of time distortion, we now can bring you all the prestige of ancient artifacts without the annoyance of having broken old rubbish cluttering up the house. For asking a specific question about this topic. If they ran out of time or they just didn't really, well, maybe just stopped caring. 
Well, I guess it's, there's a lot of generic one-off icons in this game, I suppose. Greetings, oh pointy-headed one. Are you perhaps interested in owning a very perfect and beautiful bridge? 10,000 dinars! And I'm cutting off my own Farouk at twice the price. A bridge? In the middle of the desert? If the need should ever come, Offendi, you will be just that much further ahead of the Raj. <laughs> I don't believe this. I so love foreign travel. It lets you see that all the foreigners are just like the people you've left at home. A bunch of self-obsessed, ungrateful layabouts. So what's all this about pyramid power, then? Ah, my esteemed dress bedecked one. The pyramids are mystic centers of great power. Within them, time is slowed, or time is sped. And they also sharpen hamburger and keep razor blades fresh. Ha-ha! Four functions for the price of one. Yours for a desert song, Offendi. A thousand dinar! And hey, I'm cutting my own hand off. No, thank you. I'm trying to give them up. Oh, well. It seems I now know how to see a man about a pyramid. It should come in handy someday. It'd be terrible needing a pyramid in a hurry and finding all the shops shut. See you later. Candy Rock, straight from Big Rock Bobby Candy Mountain. Oh, look. Apparently, this stuff comes in coal tar, sulphur and new phosphate flavours. I'd better ask the storekeeper first. This actually looks like iron ore. Well, iron or something that isn't iron. I'd better ask the Bobby storekeeper Rumors. first. Stone, sir. You what? Stone, sir. For the executions. Good, solid stone, guaranteed streamlined. Or we've got lightweight models here, designed for those caught at the back of the crowd. I'm sorry, I seem to have this awful sense of deja vu. Uh, should I mention the fact that women aren't allowed at stoning, sir? It's amazing, I think I've had this deja vu before. You know, there's something familiar about this whole scene. And you, there's something familiar about your voice. Yeah, 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 the graphics may have changed, but the voice is definitely the same. I oh, don't know what you're referring to, sir. Now, can I interest you in rocks? No, no, not just at the moment, thank you. You're a rather rock-loving sort of fellow. Do you have any candy, Rock? What, like trolls eat and lose all their teeth on? Yup, there's a slab of it just here. It's terrifically popular. Well, you can throw it at someone and no one gets hurt, see? Good stuff for stonings. I mean, you get to stone the victim all over again on another day. So this candy rock, can I have it then? Oh, certainly. I mean, why bother even paying any money? I'm just glad to be of help. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry about that, sir. It's just supply and demand. Maybe you should try the next stone in. It should only be in a full moon or two. Someone's sure to have done something stonable by then. I can't wait for two full moons. I'm on a timetable, I am. What am I going to do now? Have you ever considered, sir, engaging in a long and almost pointless quest to achieve the same results we almost had squared away a mere few seconds ago, sir? Do I look the sort of person who'd go... I do, don't I? I really do. Oh, look, it's a man selling rocks for use at stonings. Hmm. Funny. This sort of reminds me of something. Yes. Yes, it does. A piece of knotted string in the guise of a human man wearing the name Yuri Jella. Perhaps I should attempt to communicate. Witness the all-powerful mystic-type skills of what would be the Far East if that direction existed here. Watch now as Yuri Jella manipulates the metal objects with the modern powers of his magnificent brain. Strain! 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 Oh, the end has fallen off. Greetings, little fakir of the pharaohs. Greetings, my good man. Here, see, now revealed before you the wonders of the Fekir's art. Flashy, blam, splinge. Yes, I, I don't think I quite follow. Do you dare to doubt my powers? Aha, now I shall strike the infidel with my magnificent straightening type powers. Strain, strain, strain. 
feel anything yet? Well, my back stopped hurting, if that's what you mean. Say, say the awesome might of Yuri Jella. A mystic, eh? Mock not the powers that your tiny man cannot understand. Watch now as you face the wrath of Yuri Jella. Strain. Strain. All right, so what do you do? Yuri Jella uses the power of the mind to restart our glasses and to bend and unbend the metal things and to find out tomorrow's news today. So does it work? Um, uh, Yuri also has a special skill at putting things on top of other things. How lovely for you. For asking about the jingle. Look, you being a mystic and all, you, you wouldn't happen to know anything about jingles, would you? Yuri Jella knows all about jingles. You bring Yuri bells and he will make them jingle. You want big jingle or little jingle? You'll be hearing bells soon if you don't pay attention. I mean jingle as in short, catchy song. Some meaningless little tune that goes around and around in your head all day. Ah, now Yuri understands. You mean like philosophy, but to music. Yeah, that's the one. Yes, Yuri knows a philosopher. He in desert. Yuri, try and remember. Strain. 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 Yuri, please to be of assistance. Ah, witness the all-powerful mystic-type skills of what would be the Far East if that direction existed here. Watch now as... Uh. For asking about the Fountain of Youth. All right, what about these other mystic powers, then? We have the fabulous pyramid powers of time and space. We have the mystic men sitting in deserts, and we have cut-rate camels. Although they're not quite so mystic, but they can't half spit. Oh, really? Is that all? You want more? Then we have the fountain of youth. Yes, indeed, you can get a second childhood without all the dribbling and unfortunate bad-type smells. Now, that sounds more like it. Where might I find that? Oh, uh, I've forgotten. When they call your people fakers, they're not joking, are they? How dare you cast aspersions on my mighty powers of, um, uh, 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 what's it called? It was on the tip of my tongue. Mine's gone blank. Um, oh, oh, uh, memory. There is a prospector, what comes through here every now and again. He goes everywhere. He's been around for centuries. You ask him if he's ever seen a greater sage than Yuri Jella. So much for the mystics of the desert. A mad spoon straightener, a flock of hooting biddies, and some tall stone pointy things that you can't even wear. Oh, that's enough of this conversation for me. Popping humors. I don't know who's more annoying, him or the man he's parodying. That leads to the stoning area. Now, that's a wonderful steak. Tall, straight, pure teak wood. These people certainly know how to give bondage a sense of class. A steak! It might be better if it were lovingly wrapped in bacon, lightly fried, then brushed with sauce, but food doesn't seem to feature largely in my life these days. Yes, I'm looking closer. I think it's still a wall, but we're still waiting for the last few votes to come in. A hole. Begging for a steak, I would say. I think we're done exploring here. That leads back to Jelly Baby. A hitching rail. It's... Oops. A hitching rail. It's a piece of wood. What do you want, a speech? No point, really. My desert steed, a fine and mighty racing gerbil. That leads back to the disc world. 
In hindsight, I should have tried walking across the desert, but I didn't actually realise this would happen. Or maybe I could still try. Next time. Obviously, we're Oh. Hmm. A skeleton on a stick. I think there might be marketing possibilities here. My bones, I've lost one or two. I'm not alive, of that I'm certain. Sorry to disturb you. Dino, eh? Less meat on him than a chicken nugget. Something in your knife just told me that some time is now. Ugh. Bing! Funny sort of name for a scarecrow. Ba 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 boom ba boom 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 ba 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 boom ba 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 boom ba 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 boom boom boom. Ba 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 boom ba 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 boom boom boom. Bone idol. I'm not quite sure. I really appreciate that joke. Say no more. What on disc are you lot doing up there? Nothing much. Just hanging around. So why, why were you tied up? Well, it's got tons of advantages. Such as? A bit of sunshine, a bit of conversation, bird watching of your butters and vultures. Then they get frightened when people pass by? No, they carry on regardless. Carry on. Good one, eh? <laughs> if it's not an embarrassing question, why did they tie you up there? Publicity. Publicity? They've got you up there tied to an old dead tree. Well, it was either this or do adverts for coffee. In which case, I suppose, I can see your point. Say, have you ever considered using your talents commercially? Oh, yes. I mean, I could rent myself out for scaring crows off the crops. Liven up children's parties, that sort of thing. No, no, no. I mean, you're singing. Would you consider doing some singing for me? What? Oh, well, I, I suppose it could be done. Tell you what, price us down from here and we'll see what we can do for you. Ah, oh, the Middle Ages. Picturesque, isn't it? Excuse me, I, I think it's probably time for me to take my medicine. Ah, here we go. May as well while we're here. Telling Dibbler you found the band. Okay. Pyramids, dams in the stream of time. Correctly shaped and oriented, with proper paracosmic measurements correctly plumbed in, the temporal potential of the great mass of stone can be diverted to accelerate or reverse time over a very small area. In the same way that a hydraulic ram can be induced to pump water against the flow. The whole point of a correctly built pyramid is to achieve absolute null time in the central chamber so that a dying king tucked up there will indeed live forever, or at least never die. The time that should have passed in the chamber is stored in the bulk of the pyramid and allowed to flare off once every 24 hours. Another tall stone slabby thing. They really went for that ethnic look, didn't they? It's a pillar, not a pillow. Mysterious hieroglyphics. They say that if you stare at these things long enough, they begin to sprout torque balloons. Oh, a pot of glue. I do so love sticky stuff. 
embalming glue. Guaranteed for a thousand years. If it doesn't, you can go back and complain. Well, there's all sorts of obvious things which could be said at this point. Let us maintain our dignity and simply say that this is the preserved and embalmed body of a dead person and treat the situation with decorum and respect for the deceased. You're waiting for me to say some sort of crash punchline, aren't you? Well, you're not getting it from Mrs Rincewind's little boy. If, in fact, she was Mrs Rincewind, I mean. Oh, look! Someone's been gift-wrapping dead people. It's already occupied. Oh, hello. There's writing all over this stuff. Gold shares up 30 points. Consolidated slave labour up 17. Hm, I could have made a killing if only I'd been there. I can't talk to him and I'm not picking him up. So you better think of something else, I guess. Oh, I'd only get tangled up if I tried to unfurl that. Well, luckily... Yes, we do have some scissors. Cloth bandages. My mummy gave them to me, honest. I think we're done here. Um, we should have enough time to explore at least one new location. Maybe. Well, it's either water or a mirage. Well, here's to a nice refreshing glass of good hot sand. No time for swimming, or for making sandcastles, for that matter. Nice vulture. Let's not get too friendly, just in case it follows us home. Hmm. Vulturis vulgaris. 90% beak to 10% brain. I'm not touching him. Oh, I'd rather not, if you don't mind. Hmm, guess it's their lunch. Looks like an old mummy's arm. Hang on, there's a ring on one of the fingers. Yes, they are indeed rocks. How they got here in the middle of the desert, I just don't know. They're too heavy. Damn! Looks like I just can't take it from them. They're too clever for that. Well, I guess we'll find out how to solve this puzzle next time. For now, I'm going to leave it here, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you again for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.